Hey there folks, I'm Classic and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily import slash integrate your D&D Beyond character sheets into Roll20. If your D&D group is like mine, you use Roll20 for your virtual tabletop and D&D Beyond for your character sheet. This causes pains when you're having to use actions or do ability checks or saving throws that you have to manually enter your dice rolls or create and keep macros up to date. There is a way we can cut out this manual work and it's with a Chromium extension called Beyond20. This extension allows us to roll from our D&D Beyond sheet as well as automatically updates your token's health. In order to follow this guide, you're going to need a Chromium-based browser such as Chrome, Opera, or Edge. Let's get started. Scroll down below this video to the description and find the section labeled Downloads and the URL for Beyond20. Click it and this will open up a Chrome web store page for Beyond20. Next, click Add to your browser. For me, it's Chrome. After you have the extension added, go ahead and open both Roll20 and D&D Beyond like so. In the chat box for Roll20, you'll see a red D20. If you click on this, you'll see options for Beyond20. I suggest checking these out. For now, let's just leave them as they are. You can also find the options panel on your D&D Beyond20 character sheet and your extension toolbar for your browser. Next, let's get things set up. Be sure your game is set to D&D 5e character sheets on Roll20. Next in the game, click add under your journal and create a new character sheet. If you already have one, that is fine. Go ahead and give it an avatar. Next, go ahead and give it a name. This needs to be the same on both your Roll20 character sheet and D&D Beyond character sheet. Next, select the player who can see and control. Next, select save and close out. Next, we need to add a token for our character. Head to the art library and add a token to the board. Next, go back into your character sheet and select the default token. Double click your token to edit and select which character represents this token. Now the basic setup is finished. Now into D&D Beyond. When you hover over your action icon, you should see a red D20 appear. Select the icon to roll set action. You can also roll skill checks by hovering over your skill modifier and then selecting it by clicking. The same goes for your saving throws and your ability checks. So now that we've seen some of the basic usage, let's set up your health to auto update. Double click your token to edit it and verify that your name is the same as it is on your D&D Beyond character sheet. For bar one, select the drop down and pick HP. Next, open up your character sheet, verify your name, and then enter in zero for your current hit points. You can now close your character sheet and head over to D&D Beyond. Here you can now edit your HP and you will see it reflect in roll 20, like so. Another thing you might want to do is auto apply your initiative to the turn order. To do this, click on the token in roll 20. Next, click on your initiative in D&D Beyond and click the Beyond 20 button. This will roll your initiative and apply it to the turn order. And there we have it, Beyond 20. It's an awesome little tool I wish I would have found about six months ago, but hopefully I saved you guys some time. If you found this video helpful, think about hitting that thumbs up button so others can know. And if you'd like to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and and until next time.